Nepal. Uh, I'm an environment engineer uh, uh, with a specialization in sanitation. Uh, right now, I'm working as a PhD researcher in humanitarian engineering here at the University of Sydney. Your own work colleague or or people from the government officials or even from the people in the community um, having lack of trust uh, in you uh, because you are like a female engineer and they have always seen a male engineer or, a, or, or all these technical skills were always associated with a male. So I, I had experience on people having you know lack of trust uh, because you are a female. So these are the kind of things um, that uh, we face in the field. When I uh, did my master's in IHL in Netherlands, uh, it really uh, made me realize that how uh, evidence-based researches can um, help to, you know, inform the policymakers and also the sanitation practitioners. So in my initial days, uh, when I was working in this sector, what kept me sticked in um, in this sector was my concern about menstrual hygiene uh, management in Nepal. When I was working and volunteering uh, in my university, uh, so it gave me a kind of safe space to talk about those things. These things were not talked about much uh, generally in day-to-day -day life because of the social stigma. So yeah, that was the main thing that kept me in this space. We have realized that uh, water sanitation and hygiene sector, the intervention are you know, designed for women, incorporating the women's participation. Um, but however, uh, women are like more seen as beneficiaries. I think we really need more women in the leadership position. We really need to celebrate uh, and change the narrative of those stories that we tell about the individual, especially uh, highlighting the stories about of women that are working in this sector and making a remarkable contribution. Um, so the um, celebration can be just in the form of saying that I trust you, you can move ahead and giving a safe environment for them to work um, is my message to everyone.